My dear students, this is ARD, your accounting guru, and the topic of the day is capital and revenue expenditure and receipts. Uh, now, what is an expenditure means? Expenditure means outflow for the business. Then, now there are two types of expenditures. One is capital expenditure, and another one is revenue expenditure. And now you can understand capital expenditure very easily. Capital expenditure is expenditure either to buy fixed asset, whenever we are buying some fixed asset. Fixed asset means non-current asset, whether it is building, it's machinery, computers, equipment, motor vehicles. Whenever we are buying a non-current asset is a capital expenditure. Or whenever we are incurring such expenditure in a non-current asset, so as to increase its value, so that to increase its value means any expenditure that is being incurred on a non-current asset to buy it or to upgrade that non-current asset uh, in such a manner that its value or efficiency increases or its running cost decreases. Capital expenditure is any expenditure uh, that is incurred on non-recurring basis. Non-recurring means that expenditure that is not incurred on day-to-day -day basis and it is a one-off expenditure that is being incurred uh, maybe once in a year or after more than one year. So these are known as capital expenditure. So capital expenditure, any expenditure that is necessary to bring the asset at present location or condition is a capital expenditure. Now there are some examples. Uh, if you have bought an asset, this is a capital expenditure. Bringing them into the business means if there is a carriage inward cost. For example, uh, I have bought an air conditioner from the market. Uh, the cost of that air conditioner is a capital expenditure. Uh, now I have to pay transportation cost for the Suzuki guy to bring that uh, air conditioner to my office. This is also capital expenditure. Uh, if there are some legal cost of buying a building, means if you are buying a building, we need to make some uh, legal contracts and all of the legal costs that are necessary to buy a building uh, are known as capital expenditure. Then carriage inwards, is th this is the same. Any other cost that is necessary to bring the asset ready for use means if I am buying uh, an air conditioner, uh, any installation cost or initial testing cost is also part of capital expenditure because once uh, unless and until the air conditioner is installed in the business, this is of no use for me. Uh, unless and until it is installed in my office, there is no use of the air conditioner because it is not operational. So these are all capital expenditure. Capital expenditure uh, normally increases the value of non-current asset or it reduces the value of non-current asset. Means uh, if I have installed a CNG kit, uh, in my motor vehicle, in my car, the CNG kit will reduce future uh, petrol consumption. I will be using gas in my vehicle now uh, in the near future. So therefore, uh, the gas is cheaper than uh, petrol fuel. So therefore, it saves me money in the future. Therefore, it is also a capital expenditure. Now, capital expenditure is not treated uh, technically as an expense. It is treated, it is treated as a non. Now, after this, we have revenue expenditure revenue expenditure is any expenditure that is incurred on day-to-day -day basis uh, it doesn't mean and uh, it is not necessary that expenditure is being incurred on daily basis but we say day-to-day -day basis day-to-day -day means uh, it can be daily it can be weekly it can be monthly and so on so revenue expenditure is any expenditure incurred for maintaining the operating capacity of a non-current asset means we are incurring some expenditure on our uh, maybe motor vehicle to repair that motor vehicle or to maintain that motor vehicle uh, it may be it can be an oil change or maybe air filters change or fuel filters change and uh, any expenditure on my car whether it is polishing uh, any expenditure on my car that maintains the value of my car is a revenue expenditure or if I am running a business any expenditure that is incurred uh, in day to day running of the business uh, maybe it is a rent of the uh, rent of the premises or the salary of the staff or any other expense that is necessary to run the business is known as revenue expenditure. So revenue expenditure is basically classed as an expense and it is charged to income statement 
and it is charged as an expense to income statement. Now capital expenditure uh, increases the value of non-current asset and revenue expenditure maintains the value of non-current asset. Capital expenditure is a, a non-recurring expenditure and revenue expenditure is a recurring expenditure. Means that it, it is incurred on daily or weekly or day-to-day -day basis. Okay, now there is an example of uh, which expenditure can be classed as a revenue and which can be classed as capital. If you have buy a van, it is a capital expenditure because van is not bought on daily basis unless and until you are a van uh, showroom or garage and that you are dealing in vans. Uh, in that situation, the van becomes a revenue expenditure because you have bought the van for resale. And if you have bought the van for use, it is a capital expenditure. Then if we are fueling up our, our, our van, uh, the fuel cost uh, is revenue expenditure because it does not increase the value of the van, it is just to uh, run the van. Uh, then we have repairs, repairs are also on day to day basis, repairs again maintain the value of non-current asset and does not increase the value of non-current. Uh, we are putting extra headlights on van, if we are putting extra something extra it increases the value of asset. If we are putting HID lights maybe on our motor vehicle, uh, a new sound system, a new alarm system. So these are all things that are increasing the value or uh, will be reducing future costs. These are capital expenditure. Buying a machinery is again capital. Electricity cost because it is a day to day cost and electricity does not increase the value of the machinery. It is just to run the machinery then therefore it is the revenue expenditure. Maybe there, uh, there can be a combined expenditure. We have spent 1500 on machinery, 1000 for improvement to the machinery and 500 for repair. If you have improved the machinery, th this means if you have upgraded our machinery uh, similarly that we when we upgrade our computers we add on some RAM or add on a new hard drive for more GBs for more data and th therefore it is an improvement it is a capital expenditure and if we are repairing the van there, there this is a revenue expenditure we are painting outside of a new building uh, if we are building our house and initially any cost that is incurred in building our house uh, it is a capital expenditure one-time cost but uh, if the house gets old after two or three years and when we repaint our house therefore it is a revenue expenditure but if we are painting a new building or new house it is the first time expenditure it is a capital expenditure then again repainting the house after three years therefore it is revenue expenditure so i hope you are able to understand the key differences between capital or revenue expenditure now there is one more thing in this incorrect treatment of an expenditure uh, let's uh, say with an example if you have bought a motor vehicle and as you are aware that motor vehicle is a non-current asset for the business but uh, for example if by error that we treated that asset as an expense we treated a motor vehicle as a motor vehicle expense now what happens in the result of this error so there are two effects of this first of all an asset decreases because the motor vehicle was basically initially originally an asset it should be classed as an asset in a statement of financial position that its balance sheet but we were unable to treat it as a non-current asset uh, but uh, else but instead we treated it as an expense so our uh, non-current asset decreased in the balance sheet and the expenses increased in income statement as the expenses increased in income statement the profit for the year is decreased so there are two effects one on balance sheet and one on income statement uh, now reverse this scenario if we fueled up our vehicle that it we uh, 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 we filled our motor vehicle with some gas uh, or petrol so the petrol cost or gas cost should be treated as an expense but for instance by error we treated this gas cost or petrol cost as a non-current asset we increase the value of non-current asset if we increase the value of non-current asset the non-current asset increased uh, by error in balance sheet and the expenses decrease and what happened when we decrease our expenditure uh, if we decrease our expenditure by error our profit is increased so this was the example of the breach of prudence concept 
prudence concept always states that assets and profits shall not be overstated we have increased our uh, non current asset with the uh, cost of fuel uh, that we put in our motor vehicle and similarly the expense is under charge and the profit is also overstated so profit uh, and non current asset are both understated if we treated a revenue expenditure as a capital expenditure so i hope uh, i was able to uh, explain the differences between capital and revenue expenditure so if you have understood the capital and revenue expenditure there is some similar concept known as capital and revenue receipts now expenditure was the outflow for the business and the receipts are inflows for the business now uh, as there were two types of expenditure one was capital and another one was revenue similarly there are two types of receipt one is capital receipt and another one is revenue receipt now capital receipts are inflows in the business which are not part of day to day operations means we are receiving money from someone but this money is non recurring in nature uh, what does this mean this means we won't be getting this money every day or every month or every week this is just one off inflow and this won't be incurring again and again now what can be the examples of capital receipt uh, capital receipt uh, there's there are some examples if we sell some non current asset maybe we have sold old motor vehicles or old machinery or old furniture so uh, we are not a furniture shop we are maybe a textile company uh, we are selling clothing if we are selling clothing the money that we receive is revenue receipt because uh, selling clothes it's part of our day to day operations but if we have sold our old furniture or maybe uh, a building that is no longer in use the inflow is capital receipt similarly if we uh uh invested further money into the business in terms of uh, maybe the we are sole trader and we ourselves invested money into the business this is known as capital receipt or maybe if we are a company and if we raise some finance through issue of shares this is also a capital receipt similarly if we uh, borrowed a loan we obtained a loan from bank so this is also a capital receipt so whenever we are selling non current assets or whenever we are raising finance through shares or uh, owners capital or loans these are all known as capital receipt so capital receipt are basically inflows of non recurring nature that are not part of day to day operations of the business and revenue receipt are basically uh, inflows of recurring nature means if we are a school and we are charging fees for students so every month we will be receiving fees the fees is the revenue receipt again uh, if we are paying our suppliers early we are getting discount these are known as discount receipt these are also revenue receipts then we if we are selling goods we are raising finance through sale of our goods that is stock this is all or this is also revenue receipt then if we have given our property to someone else to a tenant for rental basis the rent that we are receiving every month is also known as revenue receipt so any inflow that is recurring in nature and that is part of a day to day operations of the business is the revenue receipt and any inflow that is non recurring in nature and it is not part of day to day uh, business it's known as capital receipt so i hope students i was able to explain you the differences between capital and revenue receipt and capital and revenue expenditure if you do like this video kindly do share this with your other friends and if you do benefit from my channel kindly subscribe it if you haven't subscribed it already thank you